What's going on guys? My name is Jonathan. I'm a project manager here at FlexPipe. A few weeks ago, we sat down with the team from Q5 to get a little bit more insight on how they tap into their customers, employees' creativity through the use of the tube and joint system. So here it is. Hey, my name is uh, Les Pickering. I'm one of the co-founders at uh, Q5. It's a small group based out in San Francisco. My name is Mark Zeilinger. Uh, I've been doing, uh, I would say, lean for uh, close to 25 years uh, in a, a variety of industries. We work predominantly in uh, transportation systems, aerospace, and packaging, digital and analog. That's what we do for a living. Process improvement. It is, um, what we see is like, it's an untapped resource. There, there, there's so much talent in, in companies, and those companies don't know they have that talent because they never really ask their people. Now we're bringing these solutions to customers and they just see the value of it straight away. You know, there's some people, that they just don't engage until they've been asked to. You don't need a really special skill set to work with the tubular solutions. The speed you can build a solution and when an operator comes up with a great idea, you can make those changes right away. And the operator feels so special when he's saying, hey, I listened to you. What about this idea? Great, I love it. So they feel very personalized. It's easy to let these people go at it, right? You really can't make a mistake. What's the worst thing that can happen is you cut a pipe too short, big deal. You're gonna use that in your next structure. We did some studies several years ago. And one thing we realized was you can use tubular systems seven times before it's no longer usable. So below, below an inch and a half, two inches. But from a, from a standard pipe, we've used that tube seven times. Right, so you're not afraid, that you just can't make a mistake. So you're more you're willing to let people try something. And then sometimes the operators are helping us cut the tubes, pick the pieces together, set the angle, what height do you want it? And it's amazing what some of these people come up with. I mean, you know, I've been doing this again for a long, long time, worked with tubular solutions for, for many, many years, and I still get surprised. I mean, it's like the, the, the quietest person in the group all of a sudden comes out with this thing, you're just like, wow, you know, how come you never spoke up before, you know? And they just say, well, you know, no one's ever asked me or no one's ever really, you know, gave me this opportunity. In fact, they're, they're the things we should be doing with our people. Remember, they are the experts of the process, not us. They know how it should work. So when you're bringing these solutions to these people, that is, that is exactly what we should be doing for best practices, getting our people involved, reducing cost, making better solutions. That, this type of program and solution allows you to do that in a relatively quick time. When I see people building a solution Things that have been bothering them for, ye for years, and quickly, within a few days, we, all, we often say, a problem in the morning, a solution in the afternoon. But that operator involvement, that's what makes me glow. I love it. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. For everything lean manufacturing and modular system related, stay tuned.